the idea that sociology and explanations of contemporary life need to be a lot more cultural. They need to focus more on the subjective than the objective. They need to be about symbolism and uh, feelings, iconic images, subjectivity. Um, in terms of this election, about two years before, I realized that this was a perfect topic because this figure comes out of nowhere, really, and kind of explodes as a symbol. People didn't know who he was. He had a mystery. I thought Obama is a perfect personification of the things I'm interested in. And I gradually realized that, or I'd been thinking for a long time, that the field of power is something very important to bring a cultural perspective to. Power is often thought of as very mechanistic, very much motivated and fueled simply by material things like money or organization. But here you have a candidate coming into the field of power without money, at the beginning with very little organization. And he it's how he projects himself as a figure, how he links himself to Abraham Lincoln or Martin Luther King or John Kennedy or the legacy of the Kennedys, how he can use rhetoric and image that immediately made me realize that he would be a good person to think about. So for Obama, he represented an idealistic figure who told the United States that they could repair themselves domestically, that they could engage in reform, they, he could end the polarization of the country, he could create health care reform, he'd stop the war and start a peaceful uh, regime. He connected himself to the great reformist figures like Martin Luther King, Kennedy, etc. McCain had a script of the struggle internationally, America being unsafe in a precarious position. And he presented himself as a citizen soldier, as a war hero, and tried to focus on the external boundary of the United States, whereas Obama is about the internal boundary. It was to McCain's great disadvantage that um, Americans felt relatively secure during, and, and increasingly secure during the course of the campaign. They, their attention had turned away from the Iraq war. They wanted to get out. They weren't interested, even though the surge was quite successful. And it had been McCain's idea. People just shrugged. Well, so what? Let's do something different. So people weren't as interested in the script that he was presenting. But in addition, McCain was a famously inept actor. The joke about him was he couldn't even read a teleprompter. So whenever he spoke, he seemed himself quite uninterested in his own narrative. He was fidgety, he was fussy, he was in a bad mood, he had a bad temper. It was very difficult for McCain to uh, become a successful politician on the national stage to embody uh, an easygoing and fluid performativity uh, in a media-saturated world.